my guy's just in here, Cleveland Street Novelties. Oh my gosh, what a super special doll mail day I have to share with you today. I am so excited. I have been waiting for this little guy to show up for way too long, as I'm sure many of you have. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, grab a cocktail, and get ready for a real good time. Oh my gosh, you guys, what a super special doll livery day today. Doll mail day is so exciting. I've been waiting for this day ever since they sent out the notification that they were going to be putting out Freddy Krueger. Oh, and did we happen to mention? <laughs> he talks! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to tear into him. So first, we'll take a quick peek at the cute little box here for everyone out there who's going to keep him in the box. First off, shame on you. Shame on you for not playing with this adorable little doll. But you can see, you can still check him out and, and stare at his beautimousness and all that glory. Of course, down here, it's got the uh, the same font, the little script, the a Nightmare on Elm Street from the actual movie. On this side, it's got a great close-up of his face, but on the back, bam, look at that beauty. And you can see the claws reaching out. And there you go, you can see the little hole. So you can reach inside and press play and hear all the wonderful things he said. Let's tear inside and see just how glorious Freddy Krueger actually is. Let me go ahead and take him out of this box. You know what's super nice, you guys? Check it out. He's not strapped in there with 12,000 dang near impossible to get off twist ties. Slide him out of the plastic. What? What? One little piece there? And then... Oh, his little hat, little hat popped right off. <laughs> Come out of the box, you little cutie. Ah, oh my gosh, I love him so much already, you guys. I am so excited. Nightmare on Elm Street is one of my favorites. It's such a great classic. So you can see his beautiful hat here. We all know this is from the 1984 super awesome Wes Craven classic, A Nightmare on Elm Street, the bastard son of a thousand maniacs. Ah, oh, here he is in all his fabulous glory. I want to take the hat off because I want to get a really good look at this fabulous sculpt on his head. Now, we all know he was burned alive. Um, the children that he had molested, the parents came, and because of the injustice and the justice system, they decided to get a little vigilante justice themselves and burnt this man alive. And the details, and you can see where the flesh is just burning away and there's just muscle tissue underneath is so fabulous. The ear over here is a little gnarly. Look at that, so gross. I love the fact that it's got all the same details from his face, like his nose is a little bit more elongated, that wicked freaking smile of his. This cut over here on his jaw is like giving me life right now. I am so excited for it. It's beautiful. The wickedness in his evil little green eyes. He and I both have green eyes. We share that. Hi. Hi, Freddy. My family, Freddy. <laughs> I love it about him. The look and everything is so phenomenal. Even the wrinkles going all the way down and the burn marks all the way down his neck. His iconic red and green kind of Christmassy striped um, sweater. I, from what I understand, like the red and green is kind of supposed to mess with the eye and be um, just unappealing. And I mean, you know, when you got that coupled with this fabulous handsome face and some finger knives here, you know, the whole package together is pretty damn terrifying. So let's see, let's see if they've got any detailing on the arms. Ooh, they do. Even the hands and working up the arms have lovely like kind of scar tissue on them. I don't know if I can say lovely scar tissue. But the fact that this is a sculpt and this is just a figure, it is just remarkable and so phenomenal. And then of course, badow. Check it out. Yes. The fabulous homemade glove of finger knives. Someone will get some sound effects in there. <laughs> Or we'll just use mine. I'm just as fabulous. So let's see. I had wondered if they were going to do anything on his stomach. Because you know in one of the movies he lifts up his stomach and you can kind of see people peering out. No, there's some red marks on it. But it does have the little little vocal box right there. It's little belly. <laughs> the great classic sort of dark brown khaki pants. Same Velcro on the back. 
and the cute little brown workman's boots. Of course, the iconic brown fedora fits nice and snug on top of his head. It's got like these little rubber pads on the inside to make it super easy to take on and off. But then the moment we've all been waiting for. On the back here, it's got the little button. And just like we've seen before, there's the off button, the try me button, and the on button. And let's see all the fabulous things he says. Let's go and find the button. Come to Freddy. <laughs> Come to Freddy. Oh my goodness, he hates so much. <gasps> Every town has an Elm Street, which is so true. It's so creepy and eerie. <laughs> Kids, always a disappointment. How funny. Kind of reminds me of a Scooby-Doo line or something. Meddling kids. Ooh, just a wicked maniacal laugh that I love so much. Yes, you are all my children now. Ooh. You shouldn't have buried me. You shouldn't have buried me. I'm not dead. Yes, tell him, Freddy. Yeah, Something like you—you you thought you were gonna get away from me? Ooh. Come to Freddy. Come to Freddy. Yeah, I love it so. That last one was a little hard to understand, but it was something about uh, you thought you were going to get away from me because everyone always does. They start running and they're in their dream and they really think they've made it. And then Freddie's like, Bada! Bee! you didn't get anywhere. Oh my gosh, I am in love. I am living for this super awesome doll right now. He's so cute, so magnificent, so wonderful. And if you guys haven't added him to your collection yet, make sure you get on to ClevelandStreetNovelties.com because this is a must have for living dead doll collectors, for horror fans, for um, basically anybody. Hi, look at this cute little face. He goes with any collection anywhere. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so glad he came. I'm so glad I got to share him with you. Yes, Freddie has arrived. I'm so excited to have my Elm Street here at work on Cleveland Street Novelties. Make sure you guys are subscribing. There are more dolls still coming. Got 20th anniversary of Living Dead Dolls. So excited. Got a new series with a mystery doll. We've got the blind box. There's so many new ones coming out. And I want to be able to share them with you guys. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment below. <laughs> Have you added him yet? Do you love him? Are you so excited that he actually talks? I know I am. Tell me what you guys think of him. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for letting me share the creepy dolls with you because because of you, I'm just a little less creepy. <laughs> so thanks as always, you guys, and I'll see you real soon. Bye. Hi guys, do you like living dead dolls, mystery minis, horror movies, long walks in the cemetery? Me too. Make sure you subscribe.